Good morning, folks. want to start by saying it is great to be heading back across the country. Our event tonight is just outside Lincoln, Nebraska, if anybody's local to the area. Head over to www.observatoryproject.com for details. Today's top story is an M5 solar flare that erupted from the departing Southern Sunspot group. Since Helio viewer is lagging, we'll use ISWA and the SDO website to see the eruption. Now, some of the top space weather websites suggest there was no Earth-directed CME due to the brevity of the flare. But I believe you will agree that a CME indeed erupted. It's pretty easy to see. There's at least a fair chance that we'll receive a minor interplanetary shockwave from the event. Those big plasma filaments remain firm and are still an eruption factor today as well. Well, folks, we are three days past our last six-pointer as our earthquake watch ended, and the most interesting quake of the day was moderate on the Canadian coastline. We will begin to approach our next uptick period, however, as the southern incoming corona hole is entering Earth-facing position today, and it's got a nice northern extension that looks like a loop, still with some good force behind it, and it takes Earth into negative near-space influence. Another factor, the sunspot peak we will likely hit today or tomorrow. Now, I have thought we were hitting peaks days ago, but these delta spots you see departing on both the north and the south here are not alone. Solid mixing there, by the way. However, they are now joined by the grouping we've eyed on the north, which is much less complex and much smaller in umbral size. And although in last night's evening news I would have sworn this was much bigger, it does add to the count, and I think there's more coming behind it. We also took a gamma ray burst yesterday from near the southern celestial axis. Solar wind and geomagnetics are calming, but we expect impact from the previous coronal hole stream winds any minute now. Ionization is elevated as well from the flare itself this morning. Three-day quake break will end soon. Another big story from the last 36 hours is the eruption of Mount Antake. Tons of videos can be found online, but I found this one to be most gut-wrenching. Put yourself in the shoes of these hikers and imagine the panic as you realize you are not going to outrun this ash cloud. At this point, as many as 30 people are believed to be dead. Hurricane Rachel churning off Baja and about to be joined by a developing low to the southeast. This was the scene as Friday turned to Saturday and hail dumped in California. It's one of the reasons why our southwest storm alert in yesterday's news was emphasized. It indeed continued to wreak havoc from Arizona to Utah. Absolutely brutal. Homes and highways flooded. Cars stranded. And Zion National Park saw fast rushing runoff. And unfortunately, looks like we're going to have more of the same today. Those lows haven't moved that much, and a convergence goes up to the northeast, actually connects back to these systems. We'll also have an unusual flow from the Atlantic back across the Gulf states. We expect flash flooding, thunderstorms, hail, and yeah, that's snow listed more than once on the forecast chart. Typhoon Kamuri is indeed missing Japan, while another storm forms to its south. Eyes on that one. The northern low will continue dumping rain in the northern parts of Europe and surrounding areas, while a couple southern lows and Mediterranean flows will create thunderstorm potential in the far southwest and over Turkey as well. Iceland to Finland under flood alert. Top watch down under is atop the North Island of New Zealand. We've got a couple secondary convergences in the southern corners of Australia as well. Love to get some weather shares. Also can't ignore a flood warning where this convergence reaches back to me eastern South America and the flood risk to isolated parts of South Africa as well. Check your local warnings. Our Fly on the Wall episode yesterday went into detail about those strange clouds. We also discussed the California quake swarm of two days ago, some solar stuff, and we went deep into the great secret of water from our interview with Professor Pollock. If you're not a member yet, I humbly suggest you check it out. It is 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.30 a.m. Central. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.